Pay off table. Pay off table represents the summary of all decisions and outcomes a decision maker likes to make for the future decisions. Uh, when we say payoff table, we simply mean to say we have to do some calculations based upon the decision maker's decisions and depending on the outcomes, we try to work out what kind of payoff is available, what kind of returns are available, what kind of profits or losses are available to the decision maker before he or she can arrive to a decision. So let's have a look at what do we mean by payoff table and how can it be constructed so as to help a decision maker reaching to the decision. A payoff table is a summary of all possible outcomes as a result of possible decisions. When we say all possible outcomes, we mean to say that any consequences the decision maker will face as a result of the decisions which can be possible out can be outcome can be best demand in the future or it can be average demand in the future or it can be worst case scenario it can be best weather conditions available to the business or it can be worst weather conditions in the market so what we have gathered here is Outcomes are uncontrollable for the decision maker. We can control our possible decisions that should we buy more or should we buy less? Should we uh, procure more units for the future or should we procure less units for the future? But the outcome is not controllable in most of the cases. It's not in the hands of the decision makers. Okay, outcomes can be translated into quantitative or in most cases monetary values of revenues, costs, income, expenditures, profits or losses. The reason being is mostly the business firms or the, the management decision makers are more comfortable when they translate all quantitative aspects of the business into the monetary aspects. Because if the business knows whether they are going to generate sufficient returns, they are going to generate sufficient revenues or they are going to incur less costs, they feel happy. So the businesses are more or the decision makers are more comfortable in translating the outcomes into some monetary figures so that they can reach to a decision. Now we are going to look at how would we construct a payoff table with the help of an example. So here we go, we've got a little example here about a fruit shop seller. A fruit shop buys fruit cases for $5 per case and sells for $8 per case. So their purchase price is five and selling price is eight. If any fruit case is not sold during the normal working hours, any unsold cases are sold to a local chutney shop for two dollars per case because you might have noticed already that the fruit or vegetables these are perishable items so a number of times the customers are not comfortable in buying those kind of stuff which are going to be rotten very soon so many of these uh, perishable item or commodity sellers uh, they, they, they have their other uh, buyers or clients somehow on hand so any leftover stock, uh, stock is sometimes sold to these people as well okay so normally it is sold for eight dollars per case but if any items are left due to excess buying then those can be sold to the local chutney shop for a small price only two dollars per case he has recorded the following sales statistics over the last 100 days okay so over the last 100 days some of the days recorded best outcome best demand of 200 cases in some of the days it was average outcome or 150 cases and the worst case scenario was that the business has observed only 100 units to be sold. Required prepare a payoff table showing all possible profits or losses. Okay so basically what we have got here is that business has seen these demand levels in the past. So business will be able to 
make one of the decisions based upon the past statistics. So how are we going to translate it into a payoff table? Here we go. Okay, first of all, this is the layout of the payoff table. Now the layout simply re reflects how should we set up. There are many, many ways to uh, construct the payoff table, but this is very easy ones, okay? On the left hand side, on the left hand side, vertically you write down the outcomes which will be in this case form of sales demand sales demand okay uh, sales demand can be best or average or worst what has been observed in the past so what i'm saying is on the left hand side of the payoff table you are going to put down outcomes that what business will face in the future outcomes or consequences then on the right hand side, we write down possible decisions. So here I can even mention down if you feel these are possible decisions. Either business can buy 200 units for the future, tomorrow, next day, or 150 units or 100 units. Reason being was this, that this is what business has observed in the past that sometimes the demand was 200, sometimes 150, sometimes 100. So based upon that, business is going to choose one of the three decisions. I mean to say, it's logical, isn't it? If I purchase 150 units, let's say I make up my mind that I'm going to buy 150 fruit cases for tomorrow. <clears throat> it means I didn't buy 200. Or if I purchased 150, 50 units for tomorrow, it means I didn't buy 100. So understanding is simply this, that one of the possible decisions we have to choose from. Okay, so please remember, one decision at a time. Okay. One decision to choose. One decision to choose. We can't have more than one at a time. Simply one decision at a time and can i say only one outcome will occur in future if we end up having the best demand it means we were lucky we didn't see the worst demand or if we have the worst demand in the market it means we were unlucky and we didn't see the best demand so please remember we have to make one decision at a time and we will face one outcome in the future is that okay? Right. Let's move forward. So left hand side, the outcomes on in the future, which are uncontrollable. Le uh, right hand side, possible decisions to make, like buying decisions. Okay. Let's have a look at this. So here what I'm doing is that assume the business has decided to purchase 200 units. Let's say business has decided to buy 200 units, okay? And let's assume that business was lucky that only business seen best case scenario, okay? So I decided to buy 200 units and the demand in future was also best, best case scenario. If that happens, what would be possible profit or loss? what should we insert here in this cell so we purchased 200 units and the demand was also best based upon the question and best outcome is 200 so all i have to do here is simply calculate sales revenue of the best case scenario and i will take away or i will deduct the costs I mean purchases now, in the question, we are clearly given that the purchase price is 5 per case and selling price is 8 per case. Okay, so it's not a rocket science. 200 units were sold at the rate of 8, which comes to $1,600 sales revenue. And purchase price was $5 per case. So 200 units were purchased at the cost of 5. So I end up with 